come chill on the couch with us. Tegan Benfield is back for another Healthy Choices and we've got a wonderful young lady with us today. What's your name? Amelia Benfield. Now, you're, this is your mum, isn't it, Tegan? Yeah, well, you don't have to answer that. <laughs> Tegan, what are we making today? OK, we're going to make some breakfast bars, mm -hmm. really, really sweet breakfast bars. Right. Let me show the ingredients and we'll go straight into it. OK, what have we got here? Rice bran cereal. There you go, wait for it to come up. Rice bran cereal. Yep. Yeah. Got coconut, shredded coconut. Shredded coconut. Um, always use organic shredded coconut. Beautiful. This one? Linseed meal. Why is linseed so good? Oh, it's full of omega-3s. It's really okay. good for you. Uh, there's some macadamias and almonds, just roughly cut there. Mix nuts. And we've uh, got some bird seeds. Yeah, pumpkin seeds. <laughs> pumpkin seeds, beautiful. Sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds, there you go. And maple syrup, these guys should start sponsoring I'll me. Let you I hold think that I one love up. my maple Here we go. syrup. Maple syrup, there it is, Brendan. Coconut butter. Beautiful. And what else we got? Coconut butter. Coconut butter. And some tahini. And some tahini. Um, tahini. Yeah, that's basically sunflower seeds. It's all ground up. Beautiful. Let's get straight into cool. it. Cool. Can you pass me the three liquid ones yes, there? Beautiful. And I'll warm these up. And if there Amelia wants to put... The idea is we're going to melt all of these. Oh, that's very hot. There you go. Now, the other liquid one, is that the coconut? Yes, the coconut oil. Beautiful. Please. So why did you get into making these? Why, you know, why the healthy stuff? I just think it's, it's good for children. There's so much crap everywhere you look. Mm -hmm. There's always so much chocolate, so much lollies, and it's very hard to decipher food labels, and they're just bombarded with chemicals everywhere they go. So if we can limit the amount of chemicals or do what I've done and be absolutely no, no none of the nasties, I think they get a much healthier start to life. And do your kids love cooking in the kitchen with you? Because I know most kids do, don't they? Absolutely. There you go. Absolutely, they love it. And, you know, when they go to birthday parties and they've brought along their own food, we always have the other kids lining up to look in their lunchbox to see what they've got because mm. they always make sure it's fun and bright. And, and tasty. And tasty. Your food has to taste good. Kids won't eat it if it tastes like crap, bottom mm. line. Mm. So you have to make it taste well, good. Well, it's like adults. I mean, we don't like stuff that yeah. tastes crap. And, exactly. Um, Why should children have to eat something that doesn't taste very nice? Beautiful. That actually smells quite nicely. You know the tahini, do they put that in other stuff as well? I'm not sure. I'm not a tahini expert. I don't know. Okay. Um, I use it in quite a bit of stuff because it's very high in a um, lot of nutrients and especially omega-3, which okay. is great for your brain. Beautiful. Okay, so I think this is melted okay. enough. Amelia, you have you got over? all of that in there? Move your hands out of the way. We'll yep, leave Amelia, that there. you're going to have to pop um, out the way, darling, because this is hot. Yep. Good girl. Oops, there you go. We'll get your spoon out. So we just pour this in. And what are we making again? This is breakfast bars. So these are completely sugar-free because I think starting the day you with like sugar... You I'll mix. do some mixing you while you tell us what it's all about. Yeah, OK, so I wanted to find a really yummy, nutritious, sugar-free breakfast because mm -hmm. I think children start the day with sugar or, or a cereal with no nu nutrients in it. They'll get to school and before recess, they're going to come crashing down mm -hmm. and be exhausted. So I really needed a good gluten-free, sugar-free... That's the other thing. It's gluten-free. It is gluten-free. should help the kids stay balanced. They won't be running around and bouncing off walls and stuff. Yes. Sometimes. Yeah, well, um, there you go. most people are fine eating gluten, but um, one of my daughters you have allergies, is you? celiac, so she can't have gluten. Thanks, Amelia. Good girl. What's your favourite thing about making this recipe? Tell me. Mm, it's that I get to lick the spoon. You get to lick the spoon. <laughs> Do you like the fact that it's very healthy? Because you eat a lot of healthy stuff. Do you ever miss any of the other stuff that you, you can't eat? Or no, because you always have nice stuff anyway. Nope, she's saying no. She's quite shy. <laughs> that's all right. OK, so that's it. You put it in the fridge Pop for four fridge. hours or overnight. And now just quickly, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll bring up the other yeah. one. Now, we've cut up this one here just for sample purposes. You yes, you can lick it. Cool, so want. here's one we've prepared earlier. So My, what a big tongue you have. <laughs> All right. Thank Do you, you want to have a taste of that one, Brent? No, Not now that she's licked it. Thanks, anyway. No, no, the oh, bars. the bars, OK. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get you I'll to I'll take a small please. because last time I tried, I couldn't eat... I couldn't empty my mouth for an hour. <laughs> there it is. Is it yummy? Yes, it is. Thank it's... you, Mum. <laughs> See, that's a that great start to the day. And it's, it works out very, very, very cheap instead of trying to buy very expensive cereals. And you know what? It's actually very really nice. Yeah, you sound so surprised. <laughs> no, a lot of healthy stuff. Sorry about that. A lot of healthy stuff usually tastes crap. Yeah, right. Exactly. That's that's and why it's hard to get kids to eat healthy I love food. It. It's tasty, sweet, good for diabetics, <laughs> and most of all, it's healthy for all kids. For more information about this segment, hmm, 
check out our website at thecouch.com.au. Click on the segment page. You'll see Tegan's lovely photo. Click on that and it'll take you to her additive free cooking page. And um, you can get all the information off there and more. Thank Fantastic. you very much. Thank you for having me back, Fred. Thanks for being on the show today. Really? Are you going to say thank you to Fred? Yeah. See you later. <laughs>